A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is no secret to anyone who knows me, certainly not to the first year brothers, that I am a huge fan of the rock band Queen. And I have been pretty much since I was 11 years old or so. After experiencing a renewal in their popularity in 1986, Queen released an album based on the movie Highlander, which was released in the same year. And it is a fantasy movie with a story set in a world very much like ours that spans across centuries, focusing on the life of one man in particular. This man is one of the few people in the world who is immortal. He has a strange power that makes him immortal and these people remain immortal until they are beheaded. This character finds himself caught in a battle of good versus evil with other immortals. A reoccurring theme in both Queen's music in this album and the movie Highlander is this emphasis on a clear victor in this battle of good versus evil. There can be only one. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Jesus Christ, King of the universe. But he's not a temporal king as we understand them. For us, Jesus is not a symbolic figurehead. He hasn't been allotted emergency powers by another branch of government in times of catastrophe. Regardless of what kind of stops we try to place on his authority, his authority remains. We celebrate the reign of a king whose authority is boundless. We celebrate the king of whom we hear in the reading tonight, Jesus Christ, who in his kingly devotion and love for us, suffered and died for our sins. Jesus Christ, who made us citizens of the kingdom of God through baptism, calling us every second of every day to offer ourselves as a pleasing sacrifice to him. He doesn't come clothed in fine cloth. He doesn't come adorned in jewels. He doesn't come wearing a crown of fine gold. His precious blood is his royal cloak. The nail marks of his hands and feet, the wound in his side, these are his precious jewels. He wears on his head a crown of thorns. This is our king. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the first cause and final end of everything. Only in him does the order of all things make sense because it was he who set it all in motion. It is he who sustains it in being and it is he who orients it all to himself. All creation proclaims the glory of Christ the King. 
His reign spans across the ever-expanding universe, but it is in the human heart that he mounts his throne. We are the palaces in which Christ the King chooses to dwell, but it is the human heart that is his throne room. Despite all its unruly affections and desires, he seeks to be the king of our hearts because there can be only one king. It is absolutely fitting that we celebrate Christ the King so closely to the season of Advent in which we prepare to welcome this King into our lives more fully. Readings in Advent will abound with themes of making mountains low and crooked ways straight, the arrival of the Lord of Peace, our Savior and Deliverer from all evil and every fear. In preparation for that, today is the day we ask God for the grace to cast down every vice and sin that we have allowed into Christ's throne room. Now is the acceptable time to make way for the King. So make way. Make way for the King who comes bearing the standard of the cross, accompanied by a blare of trumpets and a choir of angels singing, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Worthy are you to receive glory and honor and power. Here before the blessed sacrament, enter into the prayerful quiet of your hearts and let Jesus Christ show himself your King, the true champion of your heart and soul. There can be only one. Let it be Jesus Christ, King of the universe. <laughs>